so much lately about our canines on duty and that might make guardians of the night 5k more important this year than ever so we are so excited to have our friends from the richland county sheriff's department we have canine handler and investigator cassie radford and her sidekick canine oakley thank you so much for being with us Absolutely. today thank you for having us now you oh, she is doing such a good she, job she of is, being right? adorable <laughs> um, tell me what type of specialty oakley has okay first. so canine oakley is an electronic storage detection canine which means that she can detect anything that can store or transmit memory anything from your smallest of your sim cards to computers to cell phones hidden cameras GPS's anything basically that can store or transmit memory I mean I didn't even know that dogs were trained to do that so in an internet crime or if you're looking for a hard drive that somebody has hidden in a home yes she can find it. absolutely no how doubt. does she do that it's an odor so she's trained on that particular odor I give her a command she goes to search for that and then when she finds it she sits and she looks to me to um, reward her she is a food reward canine which is one of the only ones we have in the department so she works for her food every day uh, you know it has been a very hard year for all of our canine um, friends that are working dogs here in Richland County of course we had uh, canine Coba uh, die a sled dog in the line of duty canine wick with the Richland County Sheriff's Department died chasing a suspect on 77 yes. and then canine Kobe was shot and is back on duty um, with these dogs Cassie for people who don't know what type of uh, how important are they to you and to the other deputies? Okay, so they are they are our partners. They're no different than us having a, a another human in the car with us, another police um, law enforcement officer with us. So they're very important to us. You know, we we are their protectors and they are our protectors as well. You no, know, Kobe was helping to chase a suspect on Rosewood when Kobe was shot, and those medical bills obviously are something that then Richland County Sheriff's Department has to incur. Yes. So why is this fundraiser so important to raise money? What type of things will the money go to? So um, Richland County, our medical bills are paid through our budget. However, everything else is not. Our food, um, being able to replace a canine, unfortunately. Um, is not a budgetable we can't you know we don't budget for that and so um, there's no way to budget for that so guardians of the night and the money raised for these type of events will go to pay for that about guardians of the night yes, for all of our absolutely. 5k folks or if you are a runner if you are a walker everybody is invited what is this event coming up on july 20th every and everyone is invited um it is our annual it's the 13th year for um guardians of the night um started in 2011 um, Fargo, um, which is another canine that was very dear to us that we lost in the line of duty, ran the first canine, um, Guardians of the Night run, and then unfortunately um, he was killed in the line of duty in December of 2011. And so every year following this, um, it's kind of been an honor of Fargo. It gives us a chance to, to bring not only our canines, but also others in the community that want to bring their friendly dogs. We are more than welcome to, to have that. All of our canines will be out. The family fun run walk starts at 8.30 and then the canine timed run starts at 9.30. Okay, perfect, and how do people sign up? So you can go to www.rcsd forward slash canine 5k for the information. And will Oakley be there? Yes, Oakley will be there. All of our canines will be there. Is she a good there. runner? Will she be there showing she off? She will be there showing off in some form of fashion, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Investigator Radford, thank you so much for thank being with us today. Much. Thank you, Oakley. And it is the Guardians of the Night 5K going on on July 20th. For more information, you can just check out this story at WLTX.com.